Hi, this is Lisa Somerville for Divinity Designs. Today I'm here to let you know that the following products from our April 2023 Blessings Box are now sold individually. First, I'll share with you those products, then some tips and tutorials, and then a tutorial using some of these products along with some of the products available in our October 2023 Blessings Box. The stamp set, Serenity Sentiments. This is a clear set of five stamps. Custom die, ornamental rectangles. This is a set of three dies. You have the ornamental frames and then two rectangle dies. This die does coordinate with our A2 portrait and landscape card base with layer die sets. You'll die cut and emboss this die following the directions for your die cutting machine. Embossing the die will help bring out the details of the die and will help further define the piercing on the die set. The ornamental rectangle die can be used alone or together with the background layer. Again, that's the ornamental rectangle set. The paper pad, Beautiful Blossom, sets four and five coordinating paper pad. The six by six paper pad features 30 designer papers, five sheets of each design. Again, that's the Beautiful Blossom, sets four and five. 6x6 six six coordinating paper pad. The Beautiful Blossom sets 4 and 5 coordinating paper pad coordinates with our Beautiful Blossom sets 4 and 5 paper die duos and refill sets. And next we have the paper die duos along with the refill paper pads. Beautiful Blossom's paper die duo set 4 includes 12 6x9 six flower sheets along with one coordinating die set. Beautiful Blossoms Paper Die Duo Set 5 includes 12 6x9 flower sheets along with one coordinating die set. And when you run out of paper from the Paper Die Duo sets, we do have the refill paper pads. Here's the Beautiful Blossoms 4 refill paper pad. It includes 12 6x9 flower sheets and coordinates with the Beautiful Blossoms Paper Die Duo Set 4. Else you'll need the die from that set to be able to die cut the pre-printed images. And here's the Beautiful Blossoms 5 refill paper pad. It includes 12 6x9 flower sheets and coordinates with the Beautiful Blossoms Paper Die Duo Set 5, as you do need the die from that set to be able to die cut the pre-printed images. To die cut the pre-printed images from our Paper Die Duos, you simply center the die over the pre-printed images then you can use removable tape to hold that die in place and die cut following the directions for your die cutting machine. That will leave you with the pre-printed die cut images that you can use to embellish your cards, scrapbook pages, or home decor projects. Now I'd like to share with you some tips for using these products. When using our clear stamps, I'd like to use a sanding block to go back and forth over the stamp. This helps remove any film or residue that may be left on the stamp and helps ensure that when stamping, you get a nice crisp image. And here you can see just how large some of the sentiments are in the Serenity Sentiment stamp set. When you die cut the ornamental rectangle die set, you're going to end up with the frame panel. And this is the center that falls from within the frame. And as I mentioned, there's also two layering dies within this die set. Here you can see one die cut and embossed from pattern paper and one die cut and embossed from cardstock. The largest die cut from this die set is designed to be used behind the ornamental rectangle. You can use Barely Art Craft glue to adhere that die cut and emboss panel behind the ornamental rectangle. And here's the additional rectangle panel found in this die set. Here you can see the ornamental rectangle die set used on a finished A2 card. And here's another finished card, this time an A2 landscape card. Again, the ornamental rectangle set fits on an A2 card. Here we have the A2 portrait card base. And here's the die cut and embossed layering panel from this die set. You can add our matting rectangle to add a pop of color between the layering panel and the A2 card base. And shown here is the addition of the ornamental rectangle. Here's just the ornamental rectangle on top of the matting rectangle and the A2 card base. The addition of the largest layering die. And here we have the ornamental rectangle, the largest layering die, the A2 portrait card base with layer, 
and the matting rectangle. The addition of a stamp sentiment using the Serenity Sentiment stamp set, the circles and pierced circles die sets, shown here without the layering panel from the ornamental rectangle set, and shown here with the smallest layering die from the ornamental rectangle set. On this panel, I also used one of our embossing folders. And again, here's the addition of the stamped sentiment with our circles and pierced circles die sets. So as you can see, there are many different ways that you can use the ornamental rectangle set. Shown here is another card where I just used both of the layering panels found in the ornamental rectangle set, along with additional Divinity Designs products. And now I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how I created the Slimline card using our six by six paper pad, along with additional Divinity Designs products. First, let me share with you the products that we're using on these projects. From the October 2023 Blessings Box, we have the All Occasions Gift Box, the Gift Tag Shaker Set, we have the Flower Petal Gift Box Add-on Die, the Slimline Flower Petal Background, I'm also using the Slimline Card Base, the Slimline Pierced Rectangles, Slimline Rectangles, Circles, and Pierced Circles. The stamp set, Serenity Sentiments, All Occasion 2, Foiling Die Duo, Beautiful Blossoms, Paper Die Duo Set 4, and Beautiful Blossoms, Sets 4 and 5, Coordinating Paper Pad. Now I know what you're thinking. The Beautiful Blossoms Set 4 and 5, Coordinating Paper Pad is a 6x6 paper pad, and I'm using this paper pad on a slimline card and also on the All Occasion Gift Box. To use a 6x6 paper pad with these die sets, we're just going to do some creative embellishing. Here's a close look at the top of the All Occasions gift box. You can see the seam of the paper from the Beautiful Blossom Sets 4 and 5 coordinating paper pad underneath the Flower Petal gift box add-on. When I die cut that paper, I simply lined up two pieces of that pattern paper and then die cut and embossed the paper using the box lid layer from the All Occasions gift box. And then I adhered the die cut flower petaled gift box add-on to the top of the paper. Again, you can see how my embellished tag hides the seam of the paper pad underneath the flower petal gift box add-on. Now let's create the coordinating card. Again, here's my embellished panel and then my die cut pieces. Just like the pattern paper that I die cut using the box lid layer on the All Occasions gift box, I'm going to do the same thing with our slimline rectangle dies to die cut the paper to adhere to the slimline pierced rectangles. Again, don't worry about that seam because it's going to be hidden under the decorative panel and the embellishment. So here's a close up look of that slimline card. Again, here you can see the seam of the two six by six paper pads. And here you can see the embellished panel added to the slimline card that hides the seam of the two six by six papers. And here's my finished gift set. And now I'd like to share with you some inspiration from the design team.
for more inspiration, visit the product pages on our website, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Instagram.